So, Laura, more major decisions to end this term. Please sum them up. I'm just looking at the LGBTQ decision, and I can see an application of First Amendment rights to civil rights law that could have broader consequences down the road. I think what you're seeing, Andrea, in combination uh, between today's decisions and the decision yesterday on affirmative action, is a court that is deeply divided with dramatically different worldviews uh, about discrimination, uh, about the rights of disenfranchised minorities, and what to do about that. In the case of the wedding uh, website, the graphic designer in Colorado, she says, I'm happy to make websites um, for gay people in general. I just don't want to do wedding websites. And the problem with that is it runs headfirst into public accommodation laws in the state of Colorado, like many places, says you cannot discriminate against people for their sexual orientation. So if you're going to hold yourself out as a business open to everybody, you have to serve everybody. And that's the disagreement that the justices are having, and Justice Sotomayor and Justice Gorsuch, with Sotomayor, as you laid it out, saying, essentially, you've now provided open season for discrimination on all kinds of different fronts, not just uh, limited to gay couples, but on the basis of race. What's to stop someone from saying, I don't want to serve uh, couples that uh, are, are in an interracial relationship? There's no meaningful difference there. Uh, the issue for Justice Gorsuch is that it's narrowly tailored in this case to the facts, and the facts in this case was that the state stipulated that she's making something unique. She's making something that's artistic, it's creative, it's not an off-the-shelf product. And so there's a debate going on about whether it will actually uh, meaningfully bleed into other things, other public accommodations, uh, or whether it's cabin to just this case. That's a meaningful debate to have. On the student loan issue, it's, I think, related to what we saw yesterday on affirmative action. Uh, in this case, they said that the president didn't have the authority to do something this bold with such economic and political significance. It's a plan that would have forgiven uh, millions in student loans uh, for millions of Americans, tens of millions, more than 40, actually. Uh, but they thought he didn't have the authority. Um, but it's, it's it, the sort of the ramifications for people's lives, again, in that one and on affirmative action, is quite significant.